Hello, good day, Assalamualaikum. My name is Hardian Chef. Just call me Hardi. I'm a Glen coordinator of Wikimedia Indonesia. It's great that uh, we can meet all today in uh, in this Wiki Arabia Algeria 2021 to explore the topic openness. In this session, um, we will explore the open land and uh, my presentation is about uh, why Indonesia needs uh, open land. I will try to make it as clear and un um, understandable as possible for you. However, if anything requires additional clarification or if you have any questions, please let me know uh, in the chat. I'm also happy to share the additional materials if anyone is interested. Uh, you can also uh, contact me uh, through an uh, email address that is shown in, uh, on, the, on your screen. So, uh, let's get started. Well, um, GLAM Wikimedia Indonesia is part of Wikimedia Indonesia. Wikimedia Indonesia uh, was established in 2008, while uh, the program of digitization was started in uh, 2012. Uh, we started with uh, Wikimedia Indonesia's collection for uh, preserving the books and documents for uh, internal use only. And then in uh, 2013, Wikimedia Indonesia started to collaborate with uh, institutions. Indonesian Journalist Association was the first partner of GLAM Wikimedia Indonesia at that time. Um, at the beginning, we use uh, content digitization as our digital name, and since uh, 2017 until now, we use GLAM Wikimedia Indonesia or GLAM Indonesia as our uh, digital name, and then also our uh, brand for Wikimedia. Sorry, for GLAM Indonesia. So, um, talking about uh, what do what we do in uh, GLAM Wikimedia Indonesia, uh, we do collaboration and socializations. Well, uh, talking about collaborations, we collaborate with GLAM institutions, not only with GLAMs, but we also work with universities. There are philologists, historians, and, and academics uh, in general, they help us with their networks, with the GLAMS, I mean, uh, with the networks with GLAMS institution and their uh, recommendation of collections to dig digitize. And then the uh, Open Lab will be good material for university, of course, uh, to be used in uh, education. And then um, we also work with governments. I think we need to socialize the Open Lab movement because there are collections of books documents which are open license and then uh, we can put the collections in uh, Wikimedia Commons and then um, we also inform about the movements and perhaps this will make governments have a good policy related to uh, open land. GLAM Indonesia uh, or GLAM Wikimedia Indonesia also collaborate with chapters like uh, we had uh, collaborated, we had a collaboration with uh, Wikimedia Taiwan before, uh, talking about GLAM, and then uh, they uh, make a video about the museum in Indonesia, especially in Jakarta that time, and then um, Wikimedia Netherlands. For uh, Wikimedia Netherlands, as we have a uh, history background about colonializations, so uh, there are collections from GLAM's institution in uh, Netherlands that has already opened to Wikimedia Commons and until now we are still working on it. And then uh, socializations, of course, um, not only just uh, digitize uh, the collections and then when we have digitized the collection of GLAM's and of course, we need to put them in our uh, Wikimedia Commons. We usually socialize, socialize them to public uh, through uh, events like seminars or um, we have uh, meetings, something like that, or we have, uh, and then um, we can also um, 
inform or uh, socialize it through social media um, on every yeah that's what we do not only just keep it but we also share it to people and uh, next uh, PD day is one of our uh, program also in Glen Wikimedia Indonesia and on every January 1st we hold a PD day the first PD day we held was in 2020 so uh, the upcoming PD day will be our third uh, commemoration we hold this event to raise public awareness about copyrights and then uh, we hope that uh, people also uh, can use uh, the public domain's uh, materials uh, for uh, any use like uh, education or they can create something like what we also do in Act for Open Glam yeah or in Indonesia we also uh, have a kind of uh, Retas Budaya it, it's the same program we collaborated with uh, Gote Institutes and uh, it was launched it was launched uh, with um, awareness that culture belongs to all of us, not only researchers, academics, or government institutions. Therefore, cultural archives must be able to be enjoyed by the uh, public without high interest fees and other constraints on access. Ratas Budaya, or Hack for Open Glam, does not stop at access only, but utilization is also important. And if the public is given the flexibility to reuse cultural archives with their own creativity, uh, cultural archives will be richer and uh, will not be threatened by public access. And then, like for example, uh, classical painting, it can be mixed by people. Uh, people can uh, use the paintings uh, to create the new uh, works or maybe just put the paintings into some uh, products like uh, t-shirt or uh, like mug or any any materials that they want to uh, uh, put the painting at something like that and then we uh, also work with the libraries libraries not only just uh, the source of books that we can digitize but we also ask the librarians to uh, give a contribution to wikipedia because a library is the source of books and uh, we need more uh, reference for our uh, Wikipedia project and then um, we have Wikipedia pages wanting photos um, well actually uh, when uh, we have digitized the collections or we have photos we also um, do this uh, campaign um, and then uh, put the collection or the photos into uh, Wikipedia articles so uh, it will be uh, a really a useful project and then uh, we have ISA campaign and it is for uh, the photos or the, uh, the collections in Wikimedia Commons uh, using uh, put the structured data uh, for each uh, files in the Wikimedia Commons so, um, um, yeah, we have worked a lot with some, um, as you can see here, uh, museums and also galleries. Uh, well, actually, uh, we know that GLAM is uh, gallery, uh, libraries, archive, and museum. And so far, we only work uh, with uh, mostly with museums and also uh, with the libraries but not yet with galleries and uh, or archives something like that uh, so far when um, we have worked with uh, 17 uh, institutions i know that it is not really cover all the area in indonesia yet mostly we found it in sumatra island in the really west part of uh, indonesia and all of the dust in the southern part of indonesia is java bali and the lesser uh, Sunda Islands. Uh, uh, we haven't touched the Borneo Island or um, the Sulawesi or Papua yet, and um, that's because uh, we are still having a uh, lack of uh, human resources, and then also uh, sometimes our problem is with the 
um, you know, uh, glam, uh, open glam is really something to something new to uh, institutions in Indonesia. So uh, we need to uh, give a lot of uh, information still to to the institutions, and um, we really hope that um, more institutions will. Uh, understand about this uh, movement, and then uh, so it's going to be easy for us to uh, to to um, to gain more uh, yeah uh, collections and makes all the collections are free and accessible to uh, to to the public. Yeah, here I would like to show you some um, example of uh, digitizations that we have done. This is uh, from Sumatra Numismatic uh, Museum. It's a private uh, museum located in Medan, northern part of the Sumatra of Indonesia. And, and it has a large of collections of old banknotes and coins. Yeah, that's uh, one of uh, our partners. And then uh, I, I would like to show you also from Minangkabau Cultural Centers. Uh, this is... Uh, in Padang Panjang City, in the western part of West, uh, in the western part of Sumatra, the museum um, has uh, various details and collection about Minangkabau uh, cultures, and then uh, it, in audio, in visual media, or like the one that I have that I am showing you is uh, it is uh, magazines, yeah, magazines, the old magazines. It's around uh, 1920. Uh, Public publications, uh, and then um, it is really something that is useful for uh, researchers, of course. And then um, we move on next to uh, Museum Dirgantara uh, Mandala, yeah, uh, or Central Museum of Indonesian Air Force uh, Dirgantara Mandala. The museum display historical exhibits uh, related to the history of Indonesian Air Force. So uh, it is in in Java, in the central Java. Um, we we have uh, yeah we have a collabor we had a col good collaboration. So uh, we are allowed to take pictures of all the collections uh, in, in in this museum. We also have a, a collection from Indonesian Heritage Museum related to the uh yeah Indonesian heritage of course and then uh, you can see some uh, artifacts the mask here uh and then uh we have uh some collection also from museum of Delhi Sardang. uh the collections are mostly about historical and uh yeah history and also uh, culture of uh, malay mostly in uh, Delhi Sardang. it's in the north part of the sumatra and then a uh, museum of relic, uh, yeah, of museum Dewantara Kertigria. Um, it is belong to uh, well actually Dewantara is uh, Indonesian education figure. Nanti uh, Hajar Dewantara actually the complete name in the form of a house and a pendapa. And then the museum uh, displays a collections of relics uh, of item used by Ki Hajar Dewantara. Uh, in his time and with his family before. And uh, the one that I show you, there are some uh, letters that uh, Ki Hajar Dewantara uh, have had yeah, in, in, uh, the correspondence uh, between him and uh, uh, his uh, friends in, uh, in the Netherlands. Well, actually, some of the letters are using Dutch so sometimes it's hard for us to uh, understand and then and it's also in, in in handwriting so we collaborated with uh, Wikimedia Netherlands uh, to to do a translations and also the transcription something like that and then um, uh, this is uh, something that uh, really useful for historian and and and, and uh, we're really happy to 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 digitize it and show it in Wikimedia Commons. Um, last year, uh, we uh, had, we had a collaboration with Wikimedia Netherlands uh, because some of the Glam institutions 
in Netherlands have uh, put their collections into Wikimedia Commons and uh, we had uh, sorry we got three categories yeah related to our history like for example the first category is pictures from KHALP requested by Wikimedia Indonesia there are um, pictures that according to us uh, it's important and we can use it to uh, our projects uh, like in Wikipedia of Bahasa Indonesia and then uh, we also got uh, Japanese propaganda films and then uh, and then also the files of uh, Indonesian independence uh, uh, from uh, National Museum in uh, Netherlands right yeah so that was uh, our um, collaborations and our socializations uh, or what we have done in uh in Wiki, sorry in glam wikimedia in Asia. so um from what we have done or for what we're doing right now in glam wikimedia in Asia, um we go back to our titles uh, to my title actually why indonesia need open glams of course um yeah when we digitize not only just keep it but we uh, distribute it through a wikimedia commons it will give uh, a chance for people for public to access the content of knowledge and the culture uh, there are so many things that probably uh, it's not easy to find in 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 uh, in their daily lives or maybe through the internet sometimes we believe that uh um, the content of the local uh, in Indonesia is still not as much as uh, contents uh, in English or something like that or from other countries so I think it's time for us to digitize our cultures for our own uh, knowledge or something like that and then um, when we uh, do this open glam of course there are some uh, participations from public to enrich the glam's collection like for example uh, sometimes the institutions only have the artifact but they don't know about the artifact uh, maybe um, where does it come from or where do they uh, the collections come from um, I think the it's time for researchers and also um, um, people or artists can also participate in um, completing uh, the missing uh, information about the collection something like that that's what we do if we have this open glam uh, movement in Indonesia and then of course um, there will be more research yeah uh, one of the example as you can see here uh, when we have op uploaded the magazines one of the magazines from Indonesia using the uh, Japanese script uh, it is a Kejawen magazine. Uh, it was published in early uh, 1900s. And then uh, when we have uploaded, it interests uh, students to also uh, create thesis about and use this uh, magazine for uh, his research at the time. And then, uh, there, of course, there will be more derivative works. I have mentioned before about uh, the um, hack for open glams and uh, here are some for here are some examples of uh, derivative words from the our collections I mean sorry from the glams collection that have been uh, put to or have been published to Wikimedia Commons uh, they are the winners yeah um, one of uh, category is uh, making games from data so uh, the on the left side you can see artifactor it is a game a simple game so where uh, uh, we need to collect as many as uh, Indonesian artifact in the museums if you get um, uh, as many as uh, artifacts uh, from the museum in Indonesia and you will be the winner Wow, oh, that's great right and then uh, uh, in the middle you can see that's the short story from data so uh, 
from this competition or from this hack of for open glam we also uh, get uh, the winner for a uh, short story and the short story uh, quoted a uh, poem uh, uh, from uh, one of our collection in the horizon magazine and then uh, the last part is the catalog uh, digital catalog of indonesian islamic art museum uh, they are using the photos that we have uploaded uh, to uh, Wikimedia Commons, um, so I think uh, we, yeah, this is something, and uh, one of the benefits when we uh, have uh, open glam in Indonesia, of course, it will make uh, greater public awareness, uh, people more aware about their culture, about their uh, heritage. So um, I think it's not easy to to to. To, to have this uh, awareness for for their own uh, culture or something uh, like that. So, um, yeah, so do you think that we need to have this open plan? Yes, of course, from all of the advantages that I have uh, discussed before, I think it's time for us to say yes to open plan, not just keep the, um, what do you call it, the collection in the museums. And, uh, you know, sometimes the museum is really far away there and you know the this is a big uh, indonesia has big islands and tiny islands uh, so we are separated and it's, it's impossible for us to go through all the islands so open them is uh, needed for indonesia i think uh, that's all um, for this presentations i know that uh, maybe there are a lot of questions uh, will come from you and uh, I will try uh, to answer one by one. I hope that uh, yeah, um, this is really inspires you all about our movement and then uh, once again, terima kasih. Syukran. Thank you.